This is my BYD Seal Dynamic Base Model. It has a 61.44 kWh BYD Blade battery. So how far can we drive with this battery? In this video, I've done two rounds of test, driving my BYD Seal from 100% down to 30% on the roads I normally drive to work every day. After doing the first round of tests, I realized the mileage is really low and my tire pressure is a bit on the low side. So in the second round of tests, I pump up the tire pressure. So does the tire pressure make a difference? Let's find out. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. This is how I collected the data. I charged my BYD seal to 100% and set my trip B meter to zero to start recording the trip. So at 74%, I've driven 96.6 km and the car estimates there are still 367 km that we can drive. We'll see about that. I continue to track the drive in this pattern. At 48%, I've driven for a total of 182.5 kilometers, and then this is at 31%. And finally, at 24%, I've driven for a total of 264.9 kilometers, which is not a lot. The specs of BYD Seal says we can get 460 kilometers of WLTP range. I don't think I can get anywhere near that number. Before I do my second test, I need to charge up my BYD seal. And I'm glad I have this adjustable power charger from The Pow. It allows me to charge up my BYD seal in two nights instead of three or four nights. I've been using this The Pow EV charger for about three months now, and I'm quite happy about it. Check out my video on this The Pow charger using the link in the description. And thanks to The Pow for sponsoring this video. For the second test, I've captured more data points. And I remember I wanted to try out different tire pressures to see if that makes any difference. With test 1, these are my tire pressures when they are cool. 42 PSI for the back tires and 36 PSI for the front tires. Normally, the tire pressure goes up by 1 to 2 PSI during a longer drive. And with test 2, I've increased the tire pressure to 44 PSI and 38 PSI. And these are the results. Now look at this. It appears that the tire pressure does not make much difference. These are the two closest data points. For test one, I use 52% to drive 182.5 kilometers. And for test 2, it only uses 50% to drive slightly more distance at 182.9 km. However, if we see at around 30%, for test 1, we use 69% to cover 242.3 km. But for test 2, we use about 70% to cover around the same distance of 242 0.6 kilometers. It's surprising to see how close the distance traveled are at 30% mark for both tests. They are just 600 meters of difference. I put in effort to share meaningful content on my channel. Please give it a like so it can be useful to an even wider audience. And thanks to those of you who have bought Super Thanks to help support my work. I really appreciate it. Now, what if we run the battery down to say 10% or even 5%? Now, I'm not going to do that test. It's too risky and I don't want to be stuck by the roadside. However, we can extrapolate down to zero based on the data points we have. This is the linear equation formula I've learned from my daughter. And I've got her to do the projection for me down to 0% battery. And these are the extrapolated figures. If I continue to drive down to 0%, I would have driven 342 kilometers for test 1 and 320 kilometers for test 2. Now, I don't think this is a fair test because of my driving condition I mentioned earlier. 
I'm going on a road trip next week, so it's good timing for me to do the same test on a long distance highway driving conditions. I'll be bringing my The Pal Type 2 charging cable along for my road trip next week because there aren't many DC fast chargers along my route. Yes, this is the first time my family and I are going on a road trip in our first EV, my BYD SEAL. And I wonder how much range anxiety we will get? Will there be enough charging stations along the way? And will we need to queue up and wait to charge up my BYD SEAL during this school holiday season? I'll be covering all this on this channel, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next video.